Today, we're going to be talking about how Pakal may actually be legitimately overpowered. What's going on guys? Cheers. We're drinking water today. Now, originally I wasn't going to talk about the official skill reveal for these new infantry commanders because it turns out that the leak I talked about on a couple videos ago was like 80% correct, right? Which was impressive. I didn't expect it to be that close to be honest with you uh but that's great news for the source of that leak uh, i'm super happy about that so what am i gonna do make another video talking about the same skills for the same commanders like i like i don't know it just didn't make sense to me to to cover the official release right because i had already talked about those skills but i was talking with rk he's a good friend of mine you've seen him on the channel before okay we were talking in discord about potential pairings for these new commanders and we were talking about pakal and i'd said like i was like hey like Pakal seems like he's going to be broken. RK brought up Harold, and I feel like the Harold Pakal combination is going like I actually don't know how we're going to counter it. Like I don't know what the counter to this combination is going to be because it seems incredibly strong. Now let me preface that by saying that Pakal's not in the game yet. The only thing that matters is the initial test results of Harold Pakal right? That's all that matters. We can do all the theorizing we want. All that matters is, is it actually good when it's in the game? Because these are numbers, it's black and white, right? So we don't have access to those numbers yet. We're theorizing, but I just want to bring to your attention some of the uh, incredible synergy between these two commanders, because I am worried that Harold Pakal or Pakal Harold, however you want to do it, is going to be uh, like the next Attila Takeda, meaning that it's going to be a year before we see a new combo that's better than this unless they nerf it right that's it just it just seems really good okay so let's start talking about it really quickly both commanders have a single target damage factor which is not great for the open field but it's good for rallies because you're just in a single target obviously harold has his aoe if he's surrounded but it when you're hitting a city or a structure a stronghold whatever Single target damage factor, Pakal has a small shield, which is nice. Pakal's second skill gives you 30% increased health, which Harold desperately needs. He also increases damage by 10% when leading a rally because he gets 5% on the second skill and 5% on his expertise, which is a new skill. Harold's second skill gives him 10% increased attack for rallies and a chance to reduce damage taken. When Pakal leads a rally, he gets 40% increased attack. So we're stacking those attack buffs now on top of all the health that he gives you. And not to mention, Harold already gets 30% increased attack. And when an active skill goes off, you get even more attack. So it's 80% base attack with attack stacks. 30% health. Harold's expertise gives him 20% increased counterattack damage. And then on top of all that, Pakal reduces damage taken by 10%. So not only is he increasing all damage by 10%, but he's also reducing all damage taken by 10%. And that actually increases if he gets surrounded up to a total of 40% uh, <laughs> damage taken reduction. And then his expertise reduces damage taken by 20% for from all sources and an extra 3% increased counterattack damage when an active skill is used. And to top it all off, occasionally you're going to remove all debuffs with Pakal's third skill. So in case you're not putting all of this together, both commanders have a nice single target damage factor and Harold's Stamford Bridge has a 20% chance of just proccing an additional active skill. And when that happens, it's going to activate Pakal's expertise which is going to reduce the damage taken by 20% for five seconds and increase with 3% counterattack damage. Now, the thing that always sort of balanced out Harold was his third skill. It reduced his own defense by a pretty significant amount. And obviously, you know, he has Stamford Bridge to sort of alleviate that. But when you take a look at Pakal, He's just going to straight up remove those defense reduction stacks that Harold is applying to himself. So there's really like almost not going to be any downside to Harold at all because 20% of the time you're just going to remove his defense uh, reduction stacks. And then 20% of the time Stanford bridge is going to pop off and give you three seconds of defense reduction immunity. I think with Harold barely ever having that defense debuff on top of the fact that Pakal looks insanely tanky in a rally. 
I just, they do, they just deal damage and don't take damage. That's just, that's just what it looks like to me. So how are we going to counter this, right? Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to swarm this rally with Herald's expertise? You get the 40% increased counterattack damage plus the 40% damage taken reduction from Pakal on his third skill plus the extra counter attack uh, counter attack damage on his expertise like okay so you're not going to be able to swarm this rally down like you're just not going to because you're going to be taking so much damage from herald and dealing such little damage in return because of pakal's fourth skill so what are you going to do counter rally it to debuff oh wait you can't debuff this rally either because pakal has a 20 percent chance of removing that debuff as well so the only way that this rally combination can be defeated is if the garrison that it's hitting is just overpowering it right so the question becomes can this combination beat a zenobia yss right and that's the real question and i'm not sure right i'm not sure but i think it's definitely going to give it a run for its money like it's going to be an absolute stamina match right how long are these rallies going to be i feel like they're going to be super long because just the, how are you going to even address the herald's pakal i don't know and then the question becomes which commander becomes the primary i feel like if you're going to open field fight perhaps a herald primary is better but for a rally combination i want to i'm curious to see how pakal goes because the defense tree with desperate elegy is going to be really interesting keeping that rally at 30 percent or lower i feel like it's going to be really easy if you constantly are reinforcing it and you're going to be getting so much rage for that now desperate elegy in the open field is not great because you don't want to have less than 30 percent but as a rally that just i i don't know i feel like you're gonna get once you get to that point you're gonna start getting so much rage and all those active skills are gonna be popping off and every single time that happens you're gonna take 20 percent decrease in damage with pakal's expertise so i don't know i don't know what the cooldown is on pakal's expertise because it's cut off here in the image but i imagine it's once every 10 seconds but regardless there's so much more in his kit that reduces damage taken that it's it's just going to be so tanky not to mention medicinal supplies heals you every time an active skill goes off does that mean that every time stamford bridge procs an active skill it's going to heal you as well so on top of all that extra rage regeneration you're going to be healing an insane amount I, I just i hope i'm wrong that's what i'm trying to say i hope i'm wrong i hope that harold and pakal are a good rally combo but the rally combo that i think they're gonna be is gonna be really good i think it's gonna be really good s tier rally combination and i'm not sure how we're gonna counter it right i i just i don't know are we gonna see a return of super powerful archer garrisons is that gonna be maybe the next archer commanders that come out are gonna be like artemisia 2.0 that's just gonna like put this thing to rest i'm not sure but guys i just wanted to bring you this video because i feel like this combination is gonna be super good now keep in mind it's it's gonna be for rallying right which means that if you're gonna invest in pakal that means you're gonna have to also invest in herald and you're also gonna have to max out your kvk tech every single time so pakal probably is not a commander i would invest in if you're a free to play or low spender but yeah i hope i'm wrong about this one but it seems to me like this is gonna be a really powerful combo and we're just gonna have to wait and see drop a thumbs up on the video if you made it all the way to the end it really helps the video out it helps get it into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it of course comment down below your thoughts on the herald pakal combo do you think there's another combo with pakal that's going to be even more powerful than herald i would love to hear from you guys as always subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and all my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter Facebook, Discord, all that stuff is always down below, as well as a link to download Eyes of Kingdoms absolutely for free for your PC or your Mac. There's a program called Blue Stacks. I've used it for years. It's my favorite way to play Rise of Kingdoms. And if you don't like it, you can always uninstall it. Like I said, it's free and it does help support the channel. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.